bright shining as the sun. I, I went. I went through a process uh, studying the scribes, and uh, we were discussing this not long ago, you and I. That um, if two people witness an, an accident, a man and a woman, you know, we may hear the screech of tires and the bend in the metal, and you know, and the woman's going to hear the baby cry out in the front seat. Same story, same event, two different observations, two different observers. Um, and what I became aware of is, is if we don't fully understand the scribe, we may not fully understand what he's seeing from his vantage point. Yeah. There are certain things that are made reference that were lo colloquialisms or socially, culturally, whatever, um, that they, that they, things that they said that meant something to him or meant something to the people he was communicating to. And it may have been a pointed argument. Paul was. Paul did that. Well, well, well the unfortunate part about it, m many teachers, since the beginning of time, if they want to, to, to group a mass of people together, they find a common foe and say, bad people over there, and that's the enemy, come join us over here. And so what happens is they polarize the community. Is that guy really bad? That's what you Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the Protestants, you know, there are Protestants that say Catholics are bad. Are they bad? Probably not. Are the Catholics say the process? Are they bad? Well, well, all men are flawed in their heart. Mm. But does it mean that can you throw a blanket over a culture and say they're all bad people? But the problem is, in order to get someone to come to your side of the message, very often you, like the archaeologists do, they stick with the common, easily understood message rather than bringing something controversial and saying, "I want to share the truth." Here's the funny thing. When academics engage our work, they say, the problem we have with your work is you use the word truth too much. There's no place in academia today for the word truth. You can have theories, concepts, beliefs, you know, but no truth. They said, when you state something is true, it means there's no debate. And I said, well, when I find them and say it's here, when I line it up and say that's the way it is. Well, that, that's an underlying, that's an underlying current there, I see. We know less days to sing God's praise than when, when we first.